Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the YMCA of Greater Toronto YouTube channel. I'm so excited that you are all here with me today to do your 9 a.m. chair yoga class. My name is Nazia White, and I'm the director of adult programming at the Mississauga YMCA. And I'm so happy that I get to share my morning with you today for our chair yoga class. Today, all you will need is a chair. As you can tell behind me, preferably your chair uh, can have no arms on the side and make sure that it's strong and sturdy and there's no wheels as well at the bottom of your chair. Once you have your chair all ready, you can just start to sit onto your chair. And I have today some, um, rather than music, I have some nature sounds, some birds, and we're gonna imagine that we're outside in the sun and it's warm. So I decided that we're gonna take our yoga chair outside <laughs> and hear the birds chirping so nice in the morning. I hope you all had a lovely weekend and a great start to your week on Monday. I can see the numbers slowly start to come up. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, the YMCA engagement team is here on as well live. My friend Robbie is going to be here to answer any of your questions if you have any questions over to your side, maybe to your left, to your right, or maybe at the bottom of the screen, there's an area for you to chat. So you can definitely write down your name and let me know if this is your first time doing chair yoga. And we are strictly gonna be on the chair the entire time. So I have a soothing yoga class that is on on Thursdays and we use the chair as a support. We work around the chair, but for chair yoga, we're strictly staying on the chair the entire time. The most important thing here is I want you to remember to listen to your body. If you have any limitations, if you are have dealing with any injuries or dealing with any recovering from any surgeries or in the middle of therapy, what I really want you to focus on is listening and being compassionate to your body. So remembering that one side not might not work exactly the same as the other side, and that's okay. Being okay with that is the most important thing. Remembering that maybe one leg can move higher or lower than the other leg, and just remember to be compassionate. Noticing your shoulders and your elbows, perhaps one side doesn't work as well or doesn't move as well as the other side, and that's still okay. Great. Hi, Robbie. Good morning. So the, as I said to you, my friends, Robbie's here, and he's here to answer any of your questions, whatever it might be, and um, throughout the class as well. I'm so excited, and let's see what time it is. It is, we have two more minutes, so I'll wait for a couple more people to join us live. Remember, even though these classes are live, you can still go back and do them again. So you can definitely copy the link, share them with your friends and family if you feel like someone else would appreciate or would feel good doing this exercise, and you can go back and do it again. What I like to do is, if I find something that's a little challenging for me, I try to do the exercise or the class for a good three or four days until I feel confident. So any of our classes, our Body Fit Gentle, our Balance classes, our Mindfulness classes, whatever the classes might be, if you find them challenging, or that you don't feel confident to complete the class fully, then try to do that class for a couple more days, you know, on top of our live classes. And then you will notice yourself getting better. As you are on day three of the same class, you'll say, hey, wait a minute, I can do that pose. I can get a little deeper into that pose, or I can hold that pose for a little longer, or I can do that exercise for five reps rather than, you know, three reps. So it's really listening to your body and, continue to practice. The beauty about all these classes is we are able to rewind and play, rewind and play all over again. So that's nice. I see a couple more people joining us. Thank you so much for joining. We are gonna be starting our chair yoga class in one more minute. This is your 9 a.m. chair yoga class. If you're just joining us, my name is Nazia White. Thank you so much for joining me for chair yoga. All you need today is your chair. If you have a block, if you have a strap, if you have a towel, you can definitely use that as well. And I'll guide you through how to use it, but it's not needed at all. It's just um, working with your body and what feels good. Great. I see a couple more people joining. This is great. I have, I love seeing the numbers rise. It's such a great feeling. Okay, my friends, 10 more seconds and we're gonna get started. If you're not already there, have a seat on your chair, close your eyes and listen to the bird chirping. I want you to imagine that you're outside. Hopefully there's a window around you and you can actually see the sun and feel the sun coming through. I have the, a big window behind me so I can see the sunshine. Good morning, Vorbis, let's go. Awesome. Um, 
And yes, let's just get started. I can see the sunshine, so but I know it's really, really cold outside. So we're going to imagine that we're outside and it's warm. We're going to get nice and warm. Okay, have a seat on your chair. Close your eyes and start to focus on your breath. Through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Let it go. Sitting up nice and tall, ensuring that both feet are flat onto the floor. Rise up, so take your chest out, allow the shoulders to fall back, squeezing the shoulder way back. And notice the position of your head. Is your head coming forward or is it in line with your spine? So bring that neck so that it's, it is an extension of your spine. Great job. Hands onto your thighs, palms facing down, and press your feet into the floor. If you're not touching the floor, you want to make sure that you're coming forward a little bit more on your chair so you can plant both feet firmly onto the floor. Okay, Barbara, are you ready to go? Let's take a deep breath here. Inhale, close your eyes through the mouth. Exhale through the mouth. Now inhale through your nose. And exhale through the nose. Beautiful. Inhale, big breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go through the nose. Beautiful. Keep on going with this. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. And I want you to notice that you're trying not to force the breath, right? So just make it calm and relaxing as your breath enters and let it go softly and deeply. Beautiful. Now I want you to inhale for a count of two. Hold your breath at the top. Hold it there for two seconds. And then exhale for a count of two. And then hold it there at the bottom. Beautiful. Let's do this again. Inhale. One, two. Hold for one, two. Exhale. Release for one, two. Hold your breath for one, two. Beautiful. Let's do it again. Inhale for two. Hold it for two seconds at the top. Exhale for two. Hold it for two seconds at the bottom. Beautiful. Continue for this for three rounds. Inhale. One, two. Hold. Exhale. One, two. Hold. Inhale. One, two. Hold. Exhale, one, two, hold. One more time. Inhale, one, two, hold. Exhale, one, two, hold. Great job. Open up your eyes. Take your hands by your side, your palms facing up towards the ceiling. Inhale through the nose. Take your arms up towards the ceiling or the sky. We're going to say exhale. Take your arms down. Beautiful. Three more times. Inhale. Rise and shine. Arms up. Eyes up. Exhale. Down. Two more times. Inhale. Rise. If you're going to rise, you might as well shine, right? Give me a smile. Exhale. Let it go. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Press your fingertips together. Let's open our practice with our intention for today. So I want you to think about something that your body needs, whether it's kindness, compassion, power. Set that intention. And let's start to warm up our body. Take your hands all the way up to the sky. Inhale, rise and shine. As you exhale, hinge forward. Start to come forward. Bring your hands towards me. Yes, hands to your fingertips. Beautiful. Bring your belly on top of your thighs. Inhale, rise up. Rise and shine. Exhale, forward fold. Belly onto your thighs. Hands out in front of you. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, forward fold. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, bring your hands by your side like a cactus arm. So bend at your elbows 
elbows are shoulder height, inhale. Exhale, reach your arms forward, up towards the sky. Inhale, bring your elbows back down. Exhale, reach. Inhale, back down, cactus arms. One more time, exhale, reach. Inhale, come down and gently release your hands by your side. Very nice, start to roll the shoulders back up towards your ears and then squeeze your shoulder blades back, take your shoulders down. Yes, let's link this to front. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders down and back. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders down and back. One more time, inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders down and back. Beautiful, place your hands up to the tops of your thighs and slowly start to come forward with your torso and then take it back. So you're making a nice round circular motion with your upper body, keeping your hips glued to the seat of your chair, to the base of your chair. Imagine that you have that pen on the top of your head and the tip of the pen is pointing towards the ceiling and you're drawing a circle on the ceiling. Yes, just warming up the body, my friends. Inhale, go back, exhale, come forward. And now let's reverse that. Exhale, forward, inhale, take it back. Yes, a nice big round circle. Not a square, not an oval, not a triangle. Draw a circle for me today. Good work. And slowly come back to center. Take a deep breath here, then inhale. Arms up to the sky, exhale. Hands down. Beautiful. Take your right leg all the way out in front of you. Straighten up your right leg. So your right heel is to the floor, right toes to the floor. Inhale your arms up towards the sky. And as you exhale, hinge forward, either placing your hands onto the tops of your right thigh, maybe to the top of your right shin, or if you can, reaching for your big toe. Whatever feels good for you. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, do that again, forward fold. Eyes to your right toes. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale, rise up. Now remember, if your arms can't go up high, that's okay. You just do what can happen. If maybe one hand can only do it, that's totally fine as well. Let's come back to center, take the left heel down to the floor, straighten out your left leg. Inhale, your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Left the eyes to your left toes. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. So you don't have to use your hands. Inhale, rise up. You can keep your hands by your hips. Exhale, forward fold. Just bring your eyes to your left toes. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. So you decide what feels good for you today. One more, inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, forward fold. Very nice. Take a deep breath here. Inhale, take your arms up to the sky. Exhale, release. Place your hands onto the tops of your thighs. Take your feet wider than hip distance. So just a tiny bit more wider. A little wider than the stance of your chair, maybe. Wider than hip distance. Inhale, open up your chest to the sky. So push your shoulders back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, round off your back. Bring your chin towards your chest. I'm going to show you the side view of this. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades back. There's a little arch in your back. Eyes to the ceiling and to your sky. And then exhale, round off your back. Bring your chin towards your chest. Yes. Feel a nice deep stretch all through your mid-back, upper back. And inhale, lengthen, look up. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. This is your cow. Exhale, cat to round it off. One more time, inhale, squeeze those shoulder blades back. Exhale, round it off, chin to your chest, eyes to your belly button, and slowly come back to center, very nice. You're feeling nice and warm now, take a deep breath here. Inhale through the nose, exhale through your nose, your feet are still wide apart. I want you to gently walk your feet even wider now. So take your feet as wide as you can go. Your knees are still bent. Great job, Kathy. Thank you for joining. Gorgeous, beautiful. So take your feet nice and wide. Inhale. Sitting up nice and tall. Exhale. Beautiful. 
One more breath here, inhale. Push your knees back a tiny bit more. Exhale. Great job. Pivot your right foot to point forward and allow your left toes to point to the left wall and start to walk your left leg out. So straightening out your left leg. Yes, beautiful. Both toes are still pointed towards the floor. So your right toes are pointing towards me. Your left toes are pointing towards the left wall. And your left leg is straight. Inhale your left arm up to the sky. And as you exhale, coming in for a side bend. Yes, beautiful. So again, maybe if you can't take your arms straight, you could just keep your hands onto your shoulder, your hands onto your hip, and still come in for a side bend. So a nice straight line from the tips of your toes all the way up to your, your left side body. Beautiful work. Allow that left shoulder to open up to the sky. So try not to drop that left shoulder down. Open up that left shoulder. Slowly come back to center and release. Walk that left foot back to your wide stance. Pivot your left toes to point me and take your right toes to the right wall and start to walk your right toes out, your right foot out. So eventually your right leg is straight. Yes, very nice. So this is also a beautiful stretch right here. You can feel your toes pressing, your right toes pressing into the floor. Take a deep breath here, inhale. Exhale, raise your right arm up to the sky. And take that right arm over for a side bend. Great work. Eyes to the ceiling, open up that right shoulder to the sky. Try not to let that right shoulder fall forward. You want to open up. Yes, there you go. Great job. Eyes to the sky. Imagine that you're outside feeling the birds chirping. Take a deep breath here, inhale. Exhale, eyes a little deeper to the sky. Twist a little bit more and slowly come back to center. Beautiful work. Walk your feet gently back, right foot, and point both your toes out. Take your stance a little wider. Hands onto the tops of your thighs. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades back. Take your eyes to the ceiling. And as you exhale, come in for a forward fold. Bending at your hips, yes, hold it here. Level one, you can hold it here. Level two, if you can, take your right hand to the floor. Level three, if it's available to you, take both hands to the floor. Holding it there, great work. Try not to look up, but rather look down towards the floor, and maybe if you can, looking towards your belly button. Great work, take one more breath here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Slowly place your right hand back onto the top of your right thigh, your left hand back to the left thigh, and with a flat back, one vertebrae at a time, slowly rise up. Very nice. Good job, everyone. Toe heel your feet back to touch. Take a deep breath here. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, let your arms come by your side. Beautiful. We're going to turn over so that you're sitting onto the side of your chair. So just turn over so that you're off to your side of your chair. Yes, just like that. Great, so you can hold the back is, uh, onto your left hand or right hand, whatever feels good for you. So you're sitting onto the side of your chair. Beautiful, sitting up nice and straight. So notice if your back is rounded, I want you to get that spine nice and tall. Very nice. Take a deep breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, you're slowly gonna take your right leg all the way off your chair and bring your right heel to the floor, or your right toes to the floor. And gently bring your right knee pointing towards the floor. So don't bring your right knee on the floor, but your right knee pointing towards the floor. Beautiful, this is your assisted crescent lunge. So keeping your toes curled, lifting your heels off the floor. Great work. If you feel like you need to push back a little bit and maybe bring uh, more of your upper left thigh, back of your thigh onto the chair, you can do that as well. Good. If you want a deeper stretch, take that left, that right heel back a little bit more. Feel a nice deep stretch all through the front of your thigh. Inhale, take your arms up to the sky if you can. 
Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Beautiful crescent lunge here. Planting your left foot firmly onto the floor. Holding it there. Inhale. Exhale. And slowly release. Great job, everyone. Staying here, sitting onto your side. Inhale your arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, I want you to twist to the left so you're holding on to the back of your chair. I'm going to show you how this looks like as I turn my chair, just so you can see. So sitting onto your side and holding on to the back of your chair. Yes, feeling a nice deep stretch here. Great work. Hold it there. With every breath you take, inhale. Lengthen your spine with every exhale. Twist and look over your left shoulder. Gently come back to center. And let's take it over to the right side. So walk your feet over to the right side. And we're going to do the same thing. Sitting up nice and tall. Make sure your back is not rounded. Spine is tall. Neck is an extension of your head. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly let your left thigh come off of your chair, the, bottom, the, the, the back of your left thigh come off your chair, and take that left toe all the way back behind you, left toe behind. Yes, bending that left knee. Beautiful. So just readjust. So your left knee is pointing or facing or parallel to the floor. Your left shin is parallel to the floor. Your right foot is grounded into the floor. Your right knee bent at a 45. Beautiful. And lifting your left heel as high as you can go. Very nice. If you want to make this pose a little bit more challenging, you're going to take that left foot back a little bit more. Beautiful. Coming onto the balls of your feet or maybe even your toes. Inhale your arms up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Yes. Push that hip, push that left hip forward. Beautiful work. Try to get that left thigh pushing back a little bit more. Feeling a nice stretch all through the front of your left thigh and through your hip flexors. Great job, everyone. Sometimes your right foot wants to get lifted, but make sure you're grounding that right foot right into the floor. Great work. Inhale. And as you exhale, release, bring that left leg back to match your right. And we're going to take a twist over to our right shoulder. Inhale. And as you exhale, twist over, holding onto your chair, looking over your right shoulder. Yes. Holding onto the backs of your chair. Take one more breath here. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist, look over that right shoulder a little bit more. Beautiful, and slowly release. Come back to center, all the way back to face me, having your seat onto your chair. Great work, everyone. Inhale your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down by your side. Beautiful. Now I want you to drop your, keep your right hand to the, right fingertips pointing towards the floor, and take your left arm up towards the sky, holding it there. Beautiful. Take your left arm to the sky. Keep it there. Inhale. And as you exhale, gently, slowly start to take your left fingertips over towards the right wall. Coming in through your side bend. Now notice your left hip might want to lift off the chair. So I want you to ground your left hip into the base of your chair, into your seat. Beautiful side bend. Yes, take a deep breath here. Inhale and slowly release. Exhale. Inhale your right arm up to the sky. Hold it there. Now again, if you need support, you can use that other hand to keep your arm up there, right? You can definitely try that. So remember to listen to your body. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, gently come in for a side bend, walking your fingertips, your right fingertips over to the left wall. Very nice. Beautiful. Feel a nice deep stretch all through your side body. Beautiful work here, everyone. 
Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, now take, uh, hold on to the back of your chair. So right to the back of your chair, hold on to that. Inhale, open up your chest to the sky, squeeze your shoulder blades, and hold it there, beautiful. Notice as your feet still grounded into the floor. Great job, hi Lily. Good work, Kathy. Awesome work, Vibros. Holding it there. And slowly release. Beautiful. Let's do this again. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, take your hands down and then holding on to the back of your chair. I'll show you what this looks like just in case, because I know it's hard to see. Over here. Holding on to the back of your chair. Maybe if you want to go for a challenge, you can hold on to a strap between your hands or a towel, or maybe interlace your hands behind you. Whatever feels good for you today. Good work, keep it there. Continue on your breath. Remember your intention you said in the beginning of class. And so the release. Beautiful work, everyone. Let's hug your right knee. So place your hands and interlace them together or thread the needle and put your hands underneath your right thigh. And gently bring your right knee towards your chest. Yes, sitting up nice and tall still, holding it there. Start to rotate your ankle right, and then rotate it left. Beautiful. And so then release that right leg down to the floor. Take your hands behind your left thigh, and pull your left knee towards your chest and start to rotate your ankle left, counterclockwise, and then clockwise. Whatever feels good for you. Beautiful, and slowly release. Take your right leg out again. Point your right leg to me, and then flex your right foot. Point your right toes towards me, and then flex. Point. And flex one more. Point and flex and release. Left leg up, straight up. If you can, remember you can always keep that leg, the heel to the floor, and point and flex too. Good. Beautiful. Try to link this movement with your breath. Inhale and exhale. Very nice. And slowly release. Take your hands by your side and start to rotate your wrists in a circular direction and reverse that direction. Great work. Take your hands out in front of you as if you're telling me to stop. Then I want you to make a fist as, much, as tight as you can go and then open up your hands like a star. Yes, make a fist. And then open up your hands. Feel that energy rush through your fingertips. Inhale, tight, tight, tight. Exhale, release. Soften those shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Take your right hand onto your left shoulder. Beautiful. And then take your left hand just holding on to the back of your right arm. So not onto your elbow, just on the back of your right arm. And with your right hand now, it's on your shoulder, I want you to give your shoulder a little massage. Yes, give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a massage on your neck if you need to. On that left shoulder, give that left shoulder some love. Good work. It feels nice, doesn't it? Yes, great job everyone. And let's take it over to the other side. So take your left hand on top of your right shoulder. Take your right hand just to sit underneath your left arm, at the back of your left arm, your tricep. Or you don't need to. If you need support, you can do that. Now using your left hand, massage your right shoulder and your right neck. How great does that feel? I know we can't go for massages right now, so this is our second best option. <laughs> Great work. Continue to give yourself a little massage, give yourself a little hug. So 
Thank you for giving yourself this time, just 30 minutes in your day, to show kindness and compassion for your body. Learn to love yourself enough to relax, right? Yes. And so we release the hands down. Take your right ear to your right shoulder and flex your left hand. If you'd like, you can place your hand onto your left side of your head to deepen that stretch all through your neck. So we release and take it over to the other side, left ear to left shoulder. Flex the right hand now down beside you. Beautiful. Continue with your breath. Remember that mantra you said in the beginning of class. Remember your intention. Slowly release, come back to center. Bring your chin towards your chest and place your hands onto the tops of your thighs. Chin to your chest and slowly take your head over to the right side, eyes to your right wall. And then gently bring your chin back to your chest. Feel that stretch in the back of your neck. Still sitting up nice and tall, and then take your eyes over to the left wall. Chin over your left shoulder. Let's do this again. Chin to chest, and then over to the right. Look over to your right wall. Chin to chest. Look over to the left wall. One more time, chin to chest to the right. And chin to chest to the left. Slowly come back to center and release. Give yourself three big breaths here. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, let it go. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, hands together, hands to heart center. The light in me acknowledges the light to each and every one of you. And I want to thank you for sharing your energy with me today. Let's end our practice with one lion breath. Inhale through the nose and let it out through the mouth as if you're saying H-A or fogging up the mirror. Let's do this together. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Bring your hands to your third eye. Together we say, namaste. Thank you all for joining me. What a lovely class. I am so excited and I'm so happy that you all were here. Thank you, Kathy. This is your first chair class. I hope you enjoyed it. Great job. Natasha, you're very welcome. Vorbis, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for having, for letting me take you through your chair yoga class. Oh, that's great, Natasha. I'm happy you love the next stretches. I hope to see you all again uh, this week. Remember, uh, I think the 9 a.m. class is a soothing yoga class. So if you found that this was a little too easy and you can get off the chair and you'd like to try something, we have a soothing yoga class that we go through a little bit more standing poses, but still having the chair as a support. And of course we have later on, Lily will be joining us for a class here. So I'm so excited to see that. And throughout the week, we have some great programming. Thank you, Robbie, for joining and helping us all. We really appreciate it. And hard to hear. Oh, the birds, the bir oh, next time I'll put it a little lower, okay? Thank you guys all so much. Have a great day. Remember to stay home, stay active, and keep on shining bright. Bye for now.